Halo Galactic Family. Know the mechanism of your mind and transform your life. Your thoughts, words and deeds have the power to transform your life. In this stage of life there are no favorites, the principle of creation is universal and is flowing through you right now. God, Jehovah, Allah, Buddha, cosmic energy, that is, whatever denomination is given to that being, it expresses itself in all environments through your greater creation, you. This greater energy that commands everything is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. It manifests itself in this physical world through laws and all the suffering in the world is due to the lack of knowledge of the functioning of these laws. After all, a master of antiquity said you will know the truth, and the truth you will be free. Your life comes down to your thinking and your manifestation. Your thought recorded as your truth in your subconscious creates your reality. All suffering and misery in the world is created by lack of knowledge. It is not giving opportunity to people that misery has its end, but acquiring knowledge of this law and consequently putting it into practice is that opportunities will arise. Suffering will continue to knock at your door as long as you do not understand the interaction of the conscious and subconscious minds. When these two principles are in balance, working in harmony, you will experience health, prosperity, and happiness. Disease does not arise in a body that is in perfect harmony, conscious and subconscious speaking the same language. In other words what you record in your subconscious when it comes to opportunity manifests itself in time and space. What you experience consciously, being positive or negative is registered in the unconscious, with daily repetition becomes a conditioning. Maybe you remember that suggestion made by your grandmother do not walk in the rain if you're not going to get the flu, and every time you get exposed to low temperatures, in the rain or in the serene the consequence is a cold. The phrase, do not walk in the rain if you will not get the flu for you is a registered truth in your subconscious and the serene or the rain is the opportunity of this truth to manifest. For another person the serene or rain shower is an opportunity to wash the soul. How many truths are recorded in your subconscious? Poor is born to suffer, I have no opportunity, money is dirty, rich does not enter into the kingdom of God, I am a sick person, etc. Every time these truths meet the opportunities they materialize. For lack of knowledge you may have recorded as truths in your subconscious only ills and sufferings. But it's time to change that scenario, and create a new storyline for your life. How to do this? Changing the direction of your subconscious. Most people by not knowing the mechanism of the mind, feed their subconscious in a negative way. The first step to be taken is to know that you have three powerful tools to make that change. Through your thoughts, your words and your actions you register in your subconscious your truths that when you find opportunities materialize in your life. His thoughts, words and deeds have the power to transform his life, to do this as the great teacher teaches us whatsoever you would that man should do unto you, do so to them also. Just as you want people to think about you, think of them the same way. Just as you want others to talk about you, talk about them in the same way. Just as you want others to behave, do it the same way. If you have a habit of treating a person well when you are in his presence, but in the back you criticize him and in thought you hold resentment, in fact this posture is highly destructive. Your words. Your thoughts and your actions towards that person are recorded in your subconscious causing you all sorts of disorders, difficulties and diseases. All the good you do to the other comes back to you in the same measure. Do not wait for that person to return, do it with detachment, because your subconscious and the universe will work so that your seed germinates, grows and bears good fruit. 
When you know the law of cause and effect and how your subconscious works, you will understand the famous phrase pray and watch. You will begin to watch over your thoughts, your words and actions. You will begin to take care to think, speak, and act correctly toward everyone and everything. This is why the great master said, Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you measure you will measure you too. Seizing this knowledge go forward always watching your thoughts, your words and deeds. Make the habit of every day in the morning, when you wake up to say to yourself. Divine love takes care of my life today. I am absolutely certain that all the events of the day have worked for my good. This is a new day, it will bring me peace, joy and prosperity. I am guided by the same energy that commands the universe, so today is already a success. Whenever I realize that I am hitchhiking in the collective mind straying from what is good and beautiful, I will immediately bring it back to contemplate what truly exists my divine essence. My vibrational field attracts to me all the resources and collaborators to carry out my projects. Today, everything I propose to do will be a success and will benefit many people. Try to do this mentalization every day, not just in the morning. But whenever you have a spare time vibrate at that frequency and you will be planting seeds of happiness. So be it.